Where's Titus? Oh. Oh, nice down dog stretch, buddy. Front dog. Oh, good, man. Oh, one more down dog. Yeah, that's good. Oh, nice, buddy. I like your style. Stay there, buddy. Just stay there. Stay. 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 That's nice. Beautiful day to do some woodwork. I think today I'm gonna build the barn doors. First I gotta check on my ladies. Where's Titus? I swear Titus was here a second ago. Oh, hey buddy. Okay. Here's the sliding doors, split in two. This is the amount of room I have on each side of the door. 40 inches wide each, so they'll fit on either side. I'm gonna make a backing out of half inch plywood, or it's a little less than half inch. It's like 15, 30 seconds, whatever that means. And I'm gonna make a template 40 inches by 82 and a half inches. And that way all my boards will be able to stick on that and then I can decide to put a trim on it later to cover the edges of the plywood. But that way everything's nice and tight, sturdy and straight. I drew the two lines on either side, measured both far sides from one another. That way, even with the square, you're double checking that it's gonna be square. Cause sometimes the factory edges can be get a little warped over time. It's not often, but it happens. Now that uh, I've got those plywood pieces cut out, it's time to fill them in with the stuff that's going to look good, which is this wood. All right. Look at how sweet that looks. So, I just cut one, two, three, four, five and a half boards is what it's going to take to do each door. So, I mean, it looks super cool. I don't even know if I have to do anything to it. I mean, it does smell a little bit musty, but the back sides just have some spots that were probably a little bit damp starting to rot just a little bit so I'm gonna have to get rid of that but other than that I mean that looks pretty fly nice oh yeah nice it's pretty rustic so you can see this is where moisture got stuck over the years and it just started to rot a bit so I'm gonna take my uh, this wire brush here and my drill and just try and buff out any kind of rotting and just get rid of it. Because if I get rid of that, then the chances of the, the wood smelling over time are a lot slimmer. know where I left off in the video but we've got all our boards on the plywood backing so tomorrow we're gonna try and hang these puppies tomorrow over and out bye